This video is more or less a follow-up to my previous Odroid video where I compared the Odroid C1 Plus to a Pentium 4 computer. This time I'm going to be comparing the Odroid C1 Plus to a 1999 computer that I assembled out of spare parts that I have. This has a 700 MHz single core AMD Athlon processor with 256 MB of RAM with the 160 GB hard drive. This computer features all of the expected late 90s things such as a parallel port, dual serial, quad USB, um, your PS2 mouse and keyboard ports, along with floppy and disk drive. And this computer is of course going up against the Odroid C1 Plus, which includes gigabit ethernet, quad USB ports, um, USB power, full-size HDMI, GPIO, the general specs. You can look them up online if you want to see specifics. But this has a 1.5 gigahertz quad-core ARM processor with one gigabyte of RAM. So the point of this test isn't really to be an all-out comparison of every feature on these two computers, but it's more of a comparison of the actual CPU performance to see if this small device, which consumes barely any power, can beat this large desktop computer. All the tests were run multiple times and the scores were averaged to con ensure consistency. And let's start with the first test. This test tells us basically nothing about the actual performance of the computer, but it's still important. This is the startup time. So as I expected, the Odroid C1 Plus was much faster at starting up than this old computer that relies on an IDE hard drive to serve it data. As you can see, the Athlon computer took almost a minute longer to start up than the Odroid. But then again, this isn't really what we're here to compare. Now let's move on to the CPU. This is where it gets interesting. It is important to remember that in every test I ran, except for the Blowfish, the lower score the better because it's calculating the amount of time it takes to do a certain workload. So let's move on with our first benchmark. In the CryptoHash benchmark, the Odroid and the Athlon are neck and neck, with the Athlon having a very slight advantage, less than a second, in fact, over the C1+. Plus. In the end queens benchmark, we see a very similar story, except the gap is a little bit wider now. This time it leans the other way. The C1 Plus actually performed better than the Athlon in end queens. And this is just kind of showing that they're very, very similar in performance. If we move on to Fibonacci, we notice that again, we are getting scores, in fact, in this test, as close as they've ever been, almost the same numbers. And as I ran the test multiple times, the computers actually did produce the same numbers and they would trade back and forth over which one was beating the other. But when we move on to Blowfish, we see a whole different story. In Blowfish, which must be better optimized for x86 processors, we see the Athlon 700 handily beat the C1+. Plus. The only real conclusion that I can draw from these numbers is that the Odroid C1 Plus is very comparable to a full desktop computer that you would have seen in the year 1999. But what we have to think about is that the Odroid is not just a CPU. From a package standpoint, the Odroid is much better to use than this 90s computer. When I was using this computer while I was making this video, I was trying to use Google Chrome, and I actually couldn't get Google Chrome to run on the 1999 computer. I think it was a RAM issue, though, because... Like I said, it only has 256 megabytes. That being said, the Odroid C1 Plus handles internet browsing very smoothly on Google Chrome, or at least much more smoothly than the Athlon 700 computer. But again, this is probably due to RAM. Not only this, but the Odroid um, C1 Plus is much better when we're talking about high resolution displays or trying to uh, decode HD video. I was trying to watch a YouTube video on the 1999 computer and it simply would not play. The Odroid C1 Plus does struggle sometimes with high resolution videos, but for the most part, it was much smoother than this 1999 computer. Again, this could be because of drivers or other factors, so I'm not really going to go into great depth talking about it, but it's important to consider. Just because you can find a computer from 1999 that will be an Odroid or at least be the same doesn't mean you should. The Odroid C1 Plus is a much better package and uh, with its size and power consumption considered is a much better idea if you're looking for something like a media center PC or something to use as a desktop replacement if you want something for only web browsing and you want it to be reliable. That's something I cannot say about the computer from 1999. I had so much trouble getting this thing to work that is not even funny. I had to go through several hard drives, multiple installs just to get the thing to boot. Whereas the Odroid worked right out of the box and it had good support on the Odroid website and the OS is guaranteed compatibility and optimized for the computer itself. 
So anyway, if you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more videos on Odroid, please leave a comment or subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, thank you. And thanks for watching.